Hello. So today we are in uh, Mankivka, which is a really small town close to Uman in Ukraine, which is about 200 kilometers south of Kiev. So we're just spending the weekend here in this sort of countryside part of Ukraine. In a sanatorium. But, well, it's a long story. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll describe this later. Um, yeah, so today we're going to go visit Buki Canyon, which um, is a canyon. Canyon, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's it really. So oh, surprisingly. It's about 20 minutes drive away, so we're going to drive over there and have a look what's... I don't know if you can see on the video how many bumps and holes there are in the road, but uh, it's basically mostly holes. And this is one of the good looking roads in Ukraine. It's definitely not look the at, worst one that we've been on. Look, look, look at these little tiny holes there. Nice. So we arrived here in Buki at Buki Canyon, um, as you can see. Not sure if this is the main part of the canyon yet or uh, if there's more to see if we walk further along, but it looks pretty cool from even from here. So we're probably going to walk down and have a little explore and see what else we can find around here, see if we can explore the canyon a bit more. Our next stop is going to be Uman, which is a small city, but we're going to go to Sofiyevsk Park where apparently there's an underground river which we want to check out, so that's going to be our next stop. Digital nomad life, we eat in a caravan, we're getting served in a caravan. Pasiba. Cheers, everybody, from the camper. This is Sofievska Park in Uman, and we are trying to find this river where apparently there's an underground river in between two lakes. So the ladies at the gate told us it's probably about six kilometers away. So we're gonna go have a walk and see if we can find it for ourselves. Before it starts raining. Before it starts raining. So yeah. So we're in the park and of course there's no signs whatsoever. At the entrance, the ladies, uh, we paid uh, 50 grivna for the, the, each ticket. So 100 grivna total. Uh, uh, well, let us uh, uh, make uh, take a picture of the of the map, but uh, the map is very Ukrainian style, so you can't rely on it. You can't rely on GPS either, and uh, we are just trying to find the the I think way. We have to go back the way we came. I think you're actually right. To I think this is turning left there, so let's keep oh, on okay. there so and go left. Mm. So we finally reached possibly the middle of the park where there seems to be the lake and the huge waterfall it's pretty nice one so guys we're going to the underground river boat and it's quite scary because uh, in perfect ukrainian style they cram the boat with so many people that's uh, i'm feeling like uh, I'm escaping my country. Okay, so this is a welcome to the underground river. No lights. It's quite scary, yeah. You can see this is the 
literally underground. Okay, so we uh, finished our visit to Sofievska Park um, and we just ran out of battery at the end. But um, So we uh, f first we went, we eventually found the river with the underground river. Um, so we paid 50 grivn each for a ticket for that. It's about a 10 minute, 10, 15 minute trip underground. I think it's about 220 or so meters. Pitch um, dark. And, completely uh, dark. Yeah. Um, yeah, with as many people as possible crammed into the boat, so it's a yeah. slightly scary experience, but yeah, pretty cool, and that was that was um, pretty interesting. And then after that, we also did another trip on boat trip on the lake, also fifty grivna each, and that's pretty much it. It was also how much was it down to the park? Probably also the entrance on the park is another thirty each or fifty each. Fifty each, maybe, 50 each, and yeah. thirty to park the car. So total, yeah. yep. Um, affordable so, yeah. yeah so that's pretty much it for for today um so thanks for watching this video